Hello, and welcome to Smooth Drifts with King Posh. Today, we're looking at the 1987 AMG Hammer Mercedes-Benz. My old drive, drift in. Now this one is shared. I just made a video of my rear wheel drive that isn't shared yet. Um, but uh, the tune is right here. If you wanna try it out, King's all wheel drive drift. Um, and then I have the King's rear wheel drive drift. As you can tell, really a huge difference is this thing weighs 700 pounds. That rear wheel drive is like if you pack the car full of your friends and decide to go sideways with the car. But here, this one weighs 3,092 pounds. Um, it's a pretty fun car. I made it an S1. Um, it's so easy to take it up to um, S2 and so on. So, um, I did make a recent capture of what this car can do. It's not bad. Um, it isn't bad. There is a 49,212. Not too bad. Um, it, it, it could break 50,000 um, if I took the, uh, the first corner of that uh, drift section um, differently, a little bit more out, and maybe rub the wall just a little bit. Um, I could have hit 50,000 with it. It wasn't too bad. Um, but let's get right into what I've done to it. And then I'll show you guys the tune setup. So if you need to tweak anything, you're more than welcome to. So I've got the V12 Mercedes uh, CLK GTR engine in there. It is fully upgraded to the max with that 1,371 horsepower. We got all wheel drive, twin turbo, and a wide body kit. There's nothing really here. Um, you got that, but I have it on non-adjustable. And then here I just left it non-adjustable too. This would add weight. I don't want to do that. Just for it to say AMG, I'm not going to add two or three pounds. Just for it to say AMG. Here you got a stock tire compound. So it's super slippery. You got two 75s in the front to counterbalance the 275s in the rear. All right, my rims, I don't remember where I even got my rims, to be honest, there they are. The Momo Quantums is what I used. Uh, and th they look pretty good, uh, just to keep it in an S1 uh, 900. Uh, any lighter rims and it would go higher than that. Here you got 17s in the front, 17s in the rear. You got maxed out track width in the front and maxed out in the rear. Here you got a stock clutch, race transmission, stock drive line, and a race differential. All to keep it in the S1900 class. You got race brakes, I figured that would be important. It's got drift springs and dampers. Anti-roll bars race for both the front and the rear. It's got no roll cage, nothing, just left it stock. And it is light as possible. All right, and then everything here is gonna be race all the way through, all the way through. Okay, and even a race flywheel. All right, so you're zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, zero to 100 in 5.4 seconds, with top speed of 220.5 miles per hour. So it still has a top speed on it, even though it's drift tuned. Um, on all the other numbers, look pretty darn good. Um, this car is fast. 
um, and I found out that um, when you, if you want to tune this car for speed, use the stock body. Don't use the wide body. It'll add like 1.5 miles per hour faster. I know it's not much, but it's there if you want to make a super fast uh, car to go over or like close to 275 miles per hour. But anyways, here's the tune and enjoy. It's a pretty simple build um, I made. I just, I, I threw on a good build, you know, and uh, took it around. I, I called it pretty good. I just worked the gearing a little bit to get those numbers uh, rounded up, and uh, I went with it. So, uh, yeah, and you tweak it if you want to, or you can just, you know, definitely, you know, look it up and uh, find King's All Wheel Drive Drift. Um, I wish there was a code up there. Um, it does say it is public for you guys and just descriptions just fun powerful all-wheel drive drift car one minus thing about this is you might want to change gearing you might want to make it uh shift a little harder on because um even though it's got 1371 horsepower there is a lot of turbo lag and uh so you you'll see that um once you get this thing um starting to drift going sideways you're fine um if, if you crash into something and you have to drop it down the first gear. I mean, you know, if you're in second gear, you're going to notice it's just going to bog all the way up to uh, third gear and so on. Um, so that's the uh, one of the minuses that I've seen with this car. Other than that, it's a great drifter. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Well... That's all for today, and I will catch you guys and girls later. Peace out, and stay sideways, my friends.